Good evening, BookTube. I am here to tonight to talk to you about um, an event that is happening um, throughout September on BookTube. Um, some of you have probably heard of this already via other channels, and that is ShapeTube, uh, which is um, a month-long reading event in September uh, that is centered around Shakespeare. And it is hosted by uh, Steve Donahue at Steve Donahue. Um, Luke Hosh over at Totally Pretentious, Jason at Old Blues Chapter and Verse, and the channel Rainy Day Reads. I don't remember the name of the person behind that channel. I apologize. Anyway, each of the hosts have picked out um, different plays that they are going to focus on over the course of the month of September, and then their big final group read in the last week of September is going to be Hamlet. Um, now, full disclosure, I am not a huge Shakespeare person. Um, part of that is because I never really had good teachers for Shakespeare, um, especially in the time when it could have been something that I could have, you know, become interested in, like in high school. Um, I've talked before on this channel about my uh, dislike of, <laughs> of my education in, around English Lit in high school. And so I don't feel like I had the proper background when it came to learning about Shakespeare. And that has kind of influenced my opinion of trying to read the plays and understand them um, because I never had a background to give me the ability to um, really make sense of his language and what he's doing. And like I watched uh, Lukash's uh, ShakeTube announcement video. And he was talking about how, you know, the language isn't that hard to understand because it's not that different from what we speak now. And I can see where he's coming from with that. But at the same time, if you aren't as familiar with the language, um, it, I don't know, there's something about it that just doesn't click in my brain very well. Anyway, and I've read a fair number of Shakespeare plays, even though I'm not that into Shakespeare. Um, and so what I plan to do for September is, uh, I'm kind of switching things up a little bit in terms of my reading for this. Um, the Shakespeare play that I'm going to focus on is The Winter's Tale, which is one of his romances. And I have read bits and pieces of this before, but I've never managed to read the whole thing, um, because I got distracted by something else and put it down. And I really want to read this entire play, partly because one of my good friends wrote a short story that was based off of this play. Like, it was a spinoff on this particular play. And I really liked that short story. And so it's made me want to read the origin material for her idea for this. Um, so that's what I'm going to be focusing on in terms of Shakespeare play. Um, and then I want to read uh, Jeanette Winterson's um, Hogarth Shakespeare series adaptation of The Winter's Tale. This is The Gap of Time. And I've had this book for ages and I still haven't read it. So now is the time to do that. Um, I really like this cover too. It's really cool. Um, so you might recall that there's this Hogarth Shakespeare series. Um, several different authors have written um, adaptations of various Shakespeare plays, like uh, Margaret Atwood wrote Hagseed, which is an adaptation of The Tempest. Um, I guess it's not really adaptation, it's a retelling or whatever. I guess it's kind of the same thing, right? Uh, so anyway, this is one of those that I want to read, um, and I might also even pick up Hagseed. I have it somewhere here, I think. Um, I have read The Tempest, but I never did read Hagseed. Um, but Specifically, though, I want to focus on um, The Winter's Tale and then this retelling of it by Jeanette Winterson. Um, so these are the two uh, plays and then the fiction retelling of it that I want to concentrate on. And then I also want to read a nonfiction book um, regarding William Shakespeare. And I had a former professor of mine who, several years ago, she was getting rid of some books. And she had me come to her office and was like, do you want any of these? And one of the books she had was Will in the World, um, How Shakespeare Became Shakespeare. 
and I have never read it since I picked it up from her and so I've decided that I'm going to use the time um, this time in September to read this book. Um, it's about Shakespeare's life and how he becomes Shakespeare essentially. Um, I actually saw a person who I follow on Instagram who's doing her PhD in English she's actually reading this book and like taking copious notes about it and stuff so that was part of what inspired me to let's pick this up during shake two mm -hmm. so those are the three uh things that i really plan to concentrate on um so the winner's tale uh the play by shakespeare mm -hmm. and then it's adaptation um or retelling by jeanette winterson the gap of time and then the nonfiction book uh will in the world uh, How Shakespeare Became Shakespeare by Stephen Greenblatt. Uh, these are the three books that I'm hoping to um, read during ShakeTube 2020. Um, I apologize for the beeping in this video. I just got a text message and another notification. Of course, that would happen when I film. Um, so, yeah. These are my ShakeTube books. I might read something else. I don't know yet. Um, it just depends on how much time I have. I have some other books I want to read in September as well, of course, so we'll just see. Um, I will report back on whether or not I actually get to any or all of these. Um, so, yeah, uh, feel free to join in with ShakeTube in any way you see fit, um, and go check out the other channels um, who are the hosts. I will link them down below, and I will talk to you again soon. Thanks, BookTube.